God bless you. Today's encouraging word comes from Psalm 19, and we'll read verses 1 through 3, and it says, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Amen. Praise God. Uh, today is Friday. Praise the Lord for Friday. Uh, testimony day here at the Encouraging Word. And uh, it's a blessing around us every single day uh, to hear the testimony of nature. Nature is the only thing that continually testifies of the goodness of God. All the saints of God will get up from time to time and give testimony unto the goodness of God. But nature continually testifies of the goodness of God. As David wrote here in Psalm 19, he said, The heavens declare God's glory, and the firmament, or the sky, showeth forth his handiwork. And he says it happens day unto day and night unto night, a continuous testimony of the goodness of God. And you can see it in uh, the wildlife, in the plant life, uh, in the seas, in the mountains, uh, in all the beautiful things that God has created. Nature is constantly testifying. Uh, and it will do us good to hear the testimony of nature, to hear nature's testimony. It will truly bless our soul and change our lives. But unfortunately, there are so many of us who are so busy, so in a rush, so frantic, that they never stop to really hear and listen and be blessed by nature's awesome testimony. So many things to do. So many things to get done. And so nature's testimony goes unheard by those people who are in a rush. You know, recently I was uh, driving home. It was an early spring evening. And it was just simply a beautiful day. The sun was beginning to fade. The sky was looking uh, just beautiful. A few clouds here and there. Uh, some nice breezes in the air. And I'm driving along and I'm just enjoying the scenery, enjoying the day, and going within the speed limit. Praise God. And yet, uh, there were drivers all around me who were speeding past me. Some who were tailgating me because I was going too slow. Because I had the nerve to obey the speed limit. And they would violently jerk their car around me and speed on ahead. And meanwhile, I'm enjoying the beautiful evening that God has made. And I wondered, I said... They're not even enjoying this day. It's a beautiful day. And yet, here they were, frantically driving and aggressively driving their cars, ignoring the testimony of this beautiful evening. And how many of us do that? Ignore the testimony of, of a beautiful day. Ignore the testimony of a wonderful sight in nature because we are too busy. We should never be too busy to hear uh, nature's testimony. Because truly, uh, you know, it will bless us. You know, uh, David said uh, that, uh, that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. And he said, Marvelous are thy works, O Lord, and that my soul knoweth right well. He said, My soul knows your marvelous works. And, and that's a blessing for us. Because as we got to understand something, is that as our soul is blessed, that is going to determine how the rest of our lives are blessed. Third John 2 says, Beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. And so as we look at the marvelous works of God, our soul is prospering, but yet we will prosper in our finances and other areas of our lives and our health. We will be prosperous totally as our soul prospers. But one of the ways to prosper your soul is to behold the works of God. To see the marvelous things that he has done. To be able to say like the psalmist, it is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in my eyes. 
And as we do that, not only will our soul prosper, but we will draw closer to God. Because how can you look at a sunset or a sunrise or a beautiful moonlit sky with all the stars there and not be drawn to the wonder of God? You're going to come to know God more because Jesus' words are true. He said, you will know a, a tree by its fruit. And nature is just filled with the fruit of our God. And if we take time to enjoy it, we will come to know God just a little bit more. And so today I want to encourage you, uh, instead of rushing frantically through your day, uh, take some time to incline your ear, to open your eyes, and to open your heart so that you can hear the awesome testimony of nature. Because nature is testifying all around us and it's a continual testimony. You can hear it in the middle of the night, middle of the afternoon or early in the morning but take some time to hear the testimony of nature because it truly will bless your soul and as your soul is blessed your entire life will be blessed and you will be able to draw closer to God as you take in all of his marvelous works God bless you until next time be encouraged and know that Jesus loves you and his love never ends.